the United Kingdom, and um, this is a very special presentation. Uh, we are trying to present the very, should I say, most definitive episode of our expose on Jubril and what's been happening in the Damnable Zoological Republic. My name is Nnam Dekano, and today's date is the 14th of February 2019. We are going to dispense with all our normal protocol and proceed. And first of all, before we go, I must apologize for our late coming this very day. A combination of factors, um, accident on the motorway, and slight technical difficulties. But as you can see, we've overcome all of that, and we are ready to go. We have with us here people who I am going to interact with to make sure that everybody understands precisely what we are saying. The issue at stake today is um, I think I'm bringing love to most of the people that inhabit the zoological republic. Today is Valentine's Day, and I believe that it is very, very necessary for us to speak the truth and damn the devil and all its consequences. For very many years, Nigerians have been living with lies, and we, Biafrans, living with the consequences of having Jubril in power. As I said earlier during my broadcast, numerous of them from Israel, the man in Asarok is not Buhari, and together we are all going to prove that this very day. And as I also did when I told you that it was referendum that brought or that made Atiku Abubakar the PDP candidate a Nigerian, so are we going to work together this very day to make sure that we reveal most definitively where Aminu al Sudani comes from, Jubril, as we know him as, the man now occupying as a rock. What we are going to do is to have this very live and interactive session that everybody might be able to follow and be very clear as to what we are seeking to accomplish. What we want to do is to make sure that humanity is aware that what is happening in Nigeria is a monumental fraud. The fact that they've allowed Jubril. To even go for what to contest is a grand conspiracy and the fraud of the century, and we are here to expose it. And so we shall this very afternoon. Once again, allow me to apologize for our late coming. We must proceed very earnestly. But before we do so, I am going to ask each and every one of you, those of you who are around here anyway, to go to your internet server and type in Getty Images, G-E-T-T-Y space images. Getty images. Because when I started this very presentation initially from Israel, a few Yoruba people complained and said that most of the pictures that IPAB were using were either photoshopped or they were altered. So we want to go to the most definitive library of pictures in the whole world. That is Getty images. G-E-T-T-Y images. Anything you see there is authentic, it is correct. Before you can purchase any picture from there, as we have done, you have to spend nearly $500, £375, before you can get one single picture from Getty Images. That shows its authenticity. That goes to confirm or shows to convey the very fact that they are reliable and that you can trust them. So this is where we're going to go today. To prove to the world and to humanity that the fraud going on in the zoo can no longer be tolerated, neither should we allow it to obtain. The man going forward to contest for elections on Saturday is not a Nigerian, he is from Sudan, and we are here to prove it with very physical evidence that I can see. Nothing too complex, nothing too complicated, something that everybody can see with their two naked eyes and be able to confirm. The issue at stake today is that people don't comprehend what we're saying. They don't understand it. But in, in layman's terms, in common language, today, after this program, it becomes far more clear to everybody, to all and sundry, that Jubril is indeed an imposter. You remember when somebody went to see Trump in America? Do you all remember it? Yes. Do you remember? Yes. yes. I want to prove that the man they sent to go and see Trump is not Buhari. I have put it up here. Everybody, please, you must go to Getty Images. I want people to confirm that they are on Getty Images. Are you on Getty Images? If you are, please, you tell me. 
because it's very, very important we do this together. Once you go on Getty Images, you will open it, and then you will type in the following words. Not word, actually number. The picture we are looking for is picture number 953178884. This is an educative and interactive session for people to understand that we are trying to unravel a fraud in the zoo called Nigeria. This was the man that INEC sanctioned and allowed to go forward. This was the man that the cabal in the north cobbled together to come and represent the dead Buhari who is in Saudi Arabia. Today we are going to expose all of them, one after the other, with facts and with figures. As long as you have two functioning pair of eyes, you will be able to understand precisely what I'm telling you. What do we mean by this? It's a very simple matter. Very, very simple. We are asking you to simply go on. It's very easy. I'm going to go into Google so you will see it. Nothing is hidden. If you go into Google, you simply type in Getty Images. Can you see it? Getty Images? Yes. And on Getty Images, you type in the number that I gave you earlier. If you can recall. It's a very simple process for the world to understand. The number I gave you was 953178884. If you click on it, this is what you will see from Getty Images. This is the picture of Jubril, as you can see, with Trump. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Jubril and Trump together. If you look very carefully on your phone, on your laptop, on your iPad, wherever you are in the world, you will see that every gentleman, I'm not wearing one today, I'm not saying I'm not a gentleman, but I'm not wearing any today, every gentleman wears their brooch on the left lapel of their suit. Everybody, including us as well, even Uzuaka who is here. Mine was stolen by the zoo, I've not replaced it. You can see Trump is wearing his on the left-hand side. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Is there any contention that this is on the left-hand side? Are we contesting it? No. no. This is on the left-hand side. If you look at it, this is the lapel. The same thing with Jubril, as we shall demonstrate later on. He's wearing his on the left-hand side as well. Therefore, therefore, we assume that this is the left ear of Jubril. Is that correct? Yes. This is the left ear of Donald Trump, is that correct? Yes. Because if you wear your, lap, if you wear your brooch or your pin-up on the left-hand side, that means this is your left hand and this is your left ear. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. Now, they are standing facing the media talking. This is Trump's USA flag brooch showing. If I was wearing any, it would be here and I'll be facing the media. And this is my left ear. Is that correct? Yes. You must pay very close attention to this. Please don't move about, stay in one place so the world can follow. We have established that this is the left ear of Jubril, yes? Yes. Because what the Yoruba girl was saying is that IPOB reversed the pictures. And I said to them, if we reverse this very picture, this pin will be on the right hand side. Yeah. That is what picture reversing doors, yeah. the mirroring of pictures. But here is on the left, and we are into getting images. Yeah. They don't play games, they don't play any pranks. Anything you get from here is on 30. To buy a picture here costs 375 pounds. That's how expensive it is. So they don't tamper with their pictures. They call this editor's picture. Before you can use it, this is the amount you must pay, and which we have paid, by the way. We must proceed. Are you following what I'm telling you? Yes. Pay very close attention, because what we are doing is very, very important. I'm telling American people that the powers that be in the zoo called Nigeria, the people are called the four horsemen of the apocalypse, headed by Abakiari, knowingly sent a fraud to go and see Trump. They sent this man to go and see Trump. I don't want to confuse them with too much evidence. 
Because as black people, we don't assimilate evidence. So I keep it very simple today. We are focusing on the man they sent to Trump. They cannot deny it. Nobody can deny that. Are you denying that this man went to America? Did you all not see that this man went to the USA? Yes. Was this the man that went to USA to represent the zoo, say, claiming he's Buhari? Is this not the man that went to America? Yes. The man. He's the one. Is this not the man that went to USA? Yes. He is. He is. Mm. We are now in Getty Images. I don't want anybody to be in any doubt. So, when we continue, as we intend to, the world will know how serious we are. I have come back. This is the smaller picture, picture of the larger image I showed you earlier. Is that correct? Yes. Good. Pay very close attention. Because if I preach sometimes, people educated in this they don't understand. But so far, you're following what I'm saying. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Very good. Pay very close attention to that very image. And this is another image as well, taken at the White House. I'm sure that everybody can see this. Yes? yes. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see the pen and the zoo flood, the, the brooch that Jubin is wearing is also on the left-hand yes. side. Can you see it? Yes. Left-hand side of Getty Images. Nobody can argue with that. No human being can. Now, my concern is to prove that this man here is not Buhari. And how am I going to do that? We all know that Buhari's left ear was damaged. True or false? Yes. True. Do we know that Buhari's left ear was damaged? Yes. 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 Correct. Now, I want to prove to you that this man is fake. Every picture issued by the zoo, issued by Femi Adesino, what they do is they take the normal picture at the press conference and then they Photoshop it. They fold the ear. But what got them was, before they could do it, Getty sent their own photographer to cover this very event. They filed it in their archive. Nobody can touch it. You can no longer do any image editing on this. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. That was where I got them. And I'm going to prove it to you now. But before we proceed, let us go and have a look at the real Buhari, the one dead and resting in a grave in Saudi Arabia. Then I will come back to prove to you that this man is fake. So far, I believe you're following what we're doing. Yes. yes. Very good. Nobody can now disprove the fact that Jubril is wearing, you can see that there on the left, can you see him? I'm going to come back to this picture later. I'll come back to it. This is picture number on Getty Images 95330316. Go and look at it. It's there. This man you're seeing here, I will prove to you now that this man is not Buhari. Why do I know he's not Buhari? I will show you Buhari's picture. And Buhari's picture on the same Getty Images reads 9036316. How do we know? That was when this man went to see Angela Merkel and made this film infamous speech, you know, in Zauza room. You remember that? That's how you know it is him. Because he cannot speak English properly, unlike this one. And can you see the ear is damaged? Have you, can you see it? Go into your phones and type in, go to get the images. You will see that this man's ear here is damaged. Can you see it? Or it is too blurry for you? Check it on your phones, if you can. Go to your phones and check Getty Images. This very image number is... The number is... 9037066668 that is the image number for this that is the image number 
to go to Getty Images. Can you see it? Yeah. Have you found it? Absolutely. Can you see the ear? Yes. Can you see the damaged ear? Yes. Can you see the damaged ear? Yes. Maybe they may not be able to see it because we are going via a projector. In this very picture on Getty Images 9037066, have you all seen it? Yes. That the ear is damaged? This very man, this is the real Buhari, the dead one now, when he went to Germany to see Angela Merkel. And the good thing about Getty Images is that when they take pictures, they always tell you where they took them. It's all there. Once they take a picture, they tell you where the picture was taken. That is the good thing about them. You will see, here it's very small. Let me see if I can, if I can expand it a bit and go to the view and zoom in. Is it making any improvement? Yes. yes. Is it improving? Yes. So what I'm simply doing is zooming in. So I can remain in one place, please. Is, is I, I'm trying to zoom in into this very picture that you all can see. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Can you see it now? Yes. Can you see the missing ear here? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Very simple. And I have said to journalists before, Go to Aso Rock now. The thing there has the logo complete. That's what I said. This is the dead Buhari. He is dead and gone, buried in Saudi Arabia. Do you understand me? Because this is missing. This was the speech. This was during when they were at a press conference with Angela Merkel. How do I know? Because they will always tell us. Getty Images will always tell us where. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Listen carefully, please. Our people need to be sensible and intelligent. Anything I tell you is the truth. Anything I tell you is gospel. If I say that Buhari is dead, Buhari is dead. Can you see it here? During Come closer. During the joint press conference by Chancellor Angela Merkel and the state president from Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari, on 14 October 2016 in Berlin, he answers the question of his wife. I do not know exactly which party my wife belongs to, yeah. but actually she belongs to my kitchen yeah. and my living room and also in the house. Yeah. As he said, the chancellor shows herself amused. Have you seen the correct picture of the dead Buhari? Yes. Have you seen it? Yes. yes. Maybe I need to go one better. Some won't believe. Yoruba media will not believe, but I need to go one better. To show to the whole world that the dead Buhari had part of his ear missing. I want to prove it to everybody that they may know that elections on Saturday is being contested by a man from Sudan. From Sudan. I will prove it. I will prove it. That the world may know. That the world may know. This is another picture of the real dead Buhari. This picture was taken in London during the anti-corruption summit in London. I will once again prove to everybody that this man in Aso Rock now parading as Buhari is a complete and utter fake. Can you see the ear? Can anybody, or is it faint? You can't see the ear? So, yes. so it's a bit. It's a bit. They're not clear. You can't see it? It's still blown. It's blurred. But it's very clear on your phones. I want you to go to image number...
I want you to go into your phones on image number five on Getty Images. Go to Getty Images and type in image number five three zero nine. This image here. Five three zero nine five zero three nine two taken in London with Cameron Anti Corruption Summit. I want somebody to show me this very picture. Have you found it? Yeah. Check the ear. What does the ear say? Is it damaged or not? Has anyone found it? Go into Getty Images. It's not rocket science. Getty Images. This is the picture of the dead Buhari in London. 530-950-392 on Getty Images. Yes. Have you found it? Yes. What does the ear look like? It's complete. The left ear? No, no it's not complete. Is the left ear complete? It's not complete. If you go to Getty Images wherever you are, it's because of the projector is not very clear here, you will see that this picture here 530950392 is the picture of it's not complete sure it's not complete is it very clear is it complete no is not. it complete no it's not now the best thing for me to do is to actually do it here so they can see it so the world can see it come around here please and focus down and you will see bring it down can you see the ear here can you see it? Can you see that it is not complete? Have you seen that it is not complete here? Yes. It is not complete, is it? No. Yes, it's not. Very simple. Very simple. Where was this very picture taken? Have you seen it? Yes. Is it complete? No. Go to your phone and get the images. That's all. If you go to Getty Images, you'll find it. It is there on Getty Images. It doesn't lie. Getty is the most reputable phone picture library in the whole world. Number one, by none. Everything you see is authentic and genuine from them. Is the ear complete? No. Is the ear complete? No. Image 530950392 on Getty Images. It is incomplete. Why is it incomplete? And where was this very picture taken? Where was it taken? Let us try and find out where it was taken. For you to get this picture, you pay 375 pounds. Can you see it? Yes. It doesn't come cheap. To tell it is Buhari, London, England, May 12th. Remember, President Muhammad Buhari speaks after British Prime Minister Cameron opened the International Anti-Corruption Summit on May 12th, 2016 in London. Have you seen it? Yeah. It was in London. That is how they deceive people in Africa. You cannot deceive IPOB. You can't deceive a number, can it's impossible. You can't do it. You can deceive what does not mean. We proceed. And to make matters worse, you'll be shocked as to when this deception started. You'll be shocked today. As soon as Buhari was declared the winner, in 2015, they started that same day to recruit impostors. I'm about to prove it to you. Since 2015, they have had an impostor. There are almost four of them. Four! Fake human beings signing international binding treaties on behalf of Nigeria. When you try to explain to them they behave like people who are mad who cannot reason. That is why I call them a zoo. No man, no man, reason. Mad people who cannot reason properly. You don't need to be a rocket scientist. Your brain and a pair of eyes today, and you will know that Jubril's name is going on the ballot on Saturday. Then you will know his name is going on the ballot on Saturday. I am coming. I am focusing on the man they sent to Trump. But for me to do that completely, I must show you when the fraud started. I want people to go to Getty Images 
Picture number 468 Go to the picture and I'll show it to you. This is from Getty Images. If you call them, have you seen it? The number, the number please. The number, I'll give it to you once again. I will give you the number once again. Just bear with me. The number is 468259686. Have you got it? Absolutely. Go and have a look at it. Yes. Have you seen it? Yes. We have it here. Don't worry, it's coming up on the system. Have you seen it? Yes. I want anybody that can see this picture clearly to please tell me. Is this man here that you're seeing the face in any way, Buhari? That you know? No. Who? Is this man Buhari? Not at all. Is this man Buhari? I'm asking you. No. Is this man Buhari? No. We are coming. The zoo is in very serious mess. They are in a very, very serious mess. That man is not Buhari, is it? Not all. Good. This picture was taken in 2015. You know what they did? They called Getty Images to come and take this picture. Do you know that? They call them to come and take this very picture. You can see it here. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Now. Now listen. That thing you're seeing, does, is that Buhari to you? No. no. Is that Buhari to you? No. no. This is the most shocking part mm. of it. It's very, very when I was researching this, I thought they start, they brought Dubril in 2017 after he died. As I dug deeper, I discovered they brought Dubril in 2015. Four of them. That one you saw was one of them. And this is how you know. Okay. This picture was taken in Abuja on April 1, 2015. 2015. Listen, Nigeria's new president elect Muhammad Buhari, and then I ask everybody, is this man here Buhari to you? No. no. Is this young man here Buhari to you? No. 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 This is not doctored, this is dirty images. They started since 2015. They knew Buhari was not well and about to die. And what my good friend said, is that any full and name the dentist that goes into office will die in office out of shame? They said that thing that Obasanjo did to them by giving them sick Yeradua, Yeradua died, and Jonathan took over. He will not do it to them again with Buhari. So they started to prepare on time. Is it making sense to anybody? Yes. Is it making sense now? Yes. They brought in this thing. From heaven knows where. 2015. This image will cost you 375 pounds. So it's not fake, it's authentic. Yeah. Nearly 500 dollars it will cost you. That the world may know that we are IPOB and that the zoo must fall. Because we speak the truth always. I will show you. These very people started since 2015. And in case you're telling me that this man, oh, it is not possible, oh, he's just there or thereabout, I have proof. Definitive proof that this man was actually signing documents. And to make matters worse, they brought another one as well. The man I showed you last, is this someone that went to Gassi Trump? No. 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 I want to show you another one. You'll be shocked. This is another one. Another 
imposter. Is this man here, Buhari? No. I want to ask you again, is this man here, Buhari? No. Is this Buhari to you? No, no. This picture will cost you 375. This was the one they did plastic surgery to. It's picture number, I want to get the picture number that the world may know that the zoo is evil. This is picture number, write this down, very, very important. Picture number 838635816. Picture number 838635816. Get it on your phone and on your smartphone. This man here is not. Because for me, I have a, a computer. When I click on it, it takes me direct to get the images. Is this man Buhari? I ask you. No. Is he? No. 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 And before you complain and say maybe he is or he is not, I want you to pay very close attention. This one was taken in 2017. This was the one. When they realized that Buhari was dead and not coming back anymore, there was no need to pretend. They became very serious. There was need now to do plastic surgery. Have you seen his nose? Yeah. This one, this one later ran away. I know. This one ran away. When they were doing the plastic surgery, they did the nose. They tried to cut his ear. He didn't want to stay. He ran away. This one ran away, and before you complain, there was a treaty signed by this thing. And I will show you that he signed a treaty on behalf of the zoo, which is today null and void because I have told them every treaty he ever signed is now null and void. Look at them signing a treaty in Abuja. Can you see them signing a treaty? Can you see this getting images? Can you see him? Yeah. This fake human being, plasticized human being, signing an agreement. And I will give it to you raw. This was what happened. Ratification for international agreements between Nigeria and other countries. President Muhammad Buhari signs instrument of ratification for international agreements. So which means this agreement is null and void because it wasn't signed by Buhari. Yeah. Buhari is dead. Are you following me? Yes. Is anybody still in doubt? I don't know. I don't know. Is there any other one? Now, having established at least three jubilees, let us go back to the one that visited Trump. That's what we're focusing on. We will go back to it. The one that visited Trump is my most clearest interest in this whole saga. I have another picture of the real Buhari. I want us to go back to the man that visited Trump and look at the left, the picture number that will tell you that Jubril is in charge is the most important picture number on Getty Images. 95330315 Yoruba cannot dispute this. No amount of Yoruba media lies can dispute this. The zoo cannot stand. I repeat, 95330316. Do you have it? Yeah. Do you have it? Yes. 95330316. On Getty Images. Type this very number in, and this is what you're going to get. This is the man that went to see Trump. This is him. Can you see? Watch. Can you see that his pinup is on the left hand side? Yes. 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 Can you see it here? Yes. yes. Which means that the ear is on the left, left side. side. Look at the ear. Is this ear damaged? No. 
No. Check it on your phone. Is this no. here damaged? No. no, not at all. Is it damaged? No. no. Anybody no. checking? It's not very clear here. Check it on your phones. Is the ear damaged? No. No. Is the ear damaged? No. Is the ear damaged? No. That was the man they sent to go and see Trump. This man is fake. Why is he fake? Because the real Buhari has damaged left ear. Let us prove it to you once again that the world may know that what is happening in the zoo on Saturday should not go ahead. It should not go ahead. A Sudanese is standing in as the dead president of the damnable zoological republic. Let us show them once again what Buhari's ear looks like. Can you see it? Buhari's ear, what it actually looks like. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see Buhari's ear? Yes. Damaged. Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see Buhari's ear? Yes. Damaged. Yes. Buhari's ear. Here, 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 here. You can see it. Yes. You can see it here. Complete. It's damaged. Can you see it? Can you see it? Huh? Damaged. Is that man I showed you before, Buhari? No. no. Because if he were to be Buhari, his ear would still be it damaged. Yes. Still. They say. I should show them another proof. I said the one in front of you, you've not seen it. How can you understand the yeah, uh, science? You can't, you can't even see clearly. And <laughs> you want me to go and dabble into DNA. This man here, on the left side of his face, his left ear is intact. Completely intact. Completely. For you to get this image is 375. Bam. Bam. He was in a conference in Washington, D.C. with Trump, April 30th, 2018, over a year that Buhari died and was buried in Saudi Arabia. He did, he's not afraid. Because the cabal gave them confidence that they can proceed, that nothing will happen to them. Who, after all, who are uh, the people of Nigeria? Yes. This is the dead Buhari. Can see his ear is damaged. Yes. Can you see Buhari? Yes. Yes. Damaged ear. Can't you see it? Yes. Can't you see it? Yes. Can't you see it? Yes. Very clear. Can't you see it? Yes. Buhari dead. Damaged ear lobe. Can't you can't you see it? Can't you see here is damaged? Yes. Can't you see it? I'm very old. I'm very old man. Look at the hairline. Can you see how great he said is? Yes. Yoruba will come tomorrow. Yoruba will come tomorrow and tell you that, oh, he will he are not applied that. You know that Yoruba girl, Nanule yeah. yeah. Kwesuon, the daughter of Jezebel. She's now yes. wearing flat shoes. She's now wearing flat shoes. No more high heels. Yeah. <laughs> we must proceed <laughs> to let the world know that Jubril is contesting on Saturday. If they have any brain in their skull, this whole nonsense can no longer proceed. This is what they have done to the people of the zoo. I have shown you three men. This one is fake. Fake. Have you seen him? Yes. Fake. Not Buhari. They also brought another one again. That is what they do. That is their stock in trade. That is what they do. They have nothing else than to lie to you people. And that is why Nambekanu is here and will always be with IPOB to keep exposing them. And I ask you once again, even that one I showed you now and this one here, are they the same? Are they this man here? Is this thing Buhari to you? No. Is this Buhari to anybody? No. It's absolutely clear it's not Buhari. Is this Buhari to anybody? Not at no. all. You know, these people, right. you see what they're doing to us? Yeah. Yeah. This is why I said we must boycott the election. Yes. Yes. Is it clear now to everybody? Right? Yes. Do you still have any doubt no. No. about the authenticity of my claim that Buhari is dead and buried in Saudi Arabia? They brought Jibril to replace him. 
the man they sent to Trump is not Buhari. When I said this, the Yoruba girl said, oh, they, they reversed the picture. Yes. So I said I would go to the source of getting images. Very expensive. I admit, for you to buy this picture, you pay this. It has not been touched. You get it stored it the way that the zoo gave it to them. You can see it here. <laughs> that is why I said, that we can no longer remain in the zoo. No, no. We are too intelligent for them. Unless, they don't know it. You know, they thought that we are playing. They said IPOB, they are miscreants, they are this, they are that. No, no, I'm not. I, I'm more educated than all of them put together. As I told them before, if they last in a debate with me for two minutes, I'll give up this agitation. I will decimate them in one minute, because they are nothing. I have proven to the world that Jubil is contesting. Fake. Fake. Maybe they can cut his ear tonight. Who knows? <laughs> Make him look a bit older. But at least he'll be feeling the pain, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That is what I came here to tell the world. And thank you all very much for coming. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much yes, for you. exposing the debris in Asorok. The world must know. IPOB. Oh, wow. 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 Wow.